It's said that spring is a season for hope. But for KU football, hope came last fall. Down the sideline! There he goes! And he's sacked back at the 36. The spin towards the goal line. Can he get there? And KU's got to win it! This is the second year of the Leipold era and his first full offseason with the team. To some, touting one of the youngest rosters in the country might seem like an obstacle. But for this team, it's an opportunity to build something new. It's been over a decade since the Jayhawks have boasted a winning season in football. For athletic director Travis Goff, finding a coach who could turn the tide was more than just a necessity. It was personal. My journey and kind of first taste of college athletics was a passionate Jayhawk growing up as a kid in Dodge City, Kansas. And I certainly recognized the magnitude of this hire this had to be a different moment in our time and in our history. And, you know, quite honestly, coming out of a pandemic like everybody, we needed some morale boosting on what Kansas football could become. I think when I look back in the early days when I first started to get into coaching, um, it was because, of course, the, the love of the game, the love of sports and, and, and trying to stay involved in athletics. But it quickly probably turned to taking on the challenge in and of itself to build a program. Building programs from the ground up is part of Leipold's DNA. After establishing Wisconsin Whitewater as a D3 powerhouse and winning six national championships, he took the University of Buffalo from a two and 10 record in 2016 to three straight bowl games and a top 25 ranking in 2020. He accomplished all this by establishing a culture a culture built by him, but maintained by the players. Something Leipold is eager to instill at Kansas. I know it hasn't been easy. I know a lot of this you don't control. And as I said before, you can control your attitude and your effort and how you go about it each day. It's not easy. It's not gonna happen like that. But we will win here. I promise you. I promise you. The first thing we did is, is Coach and I sat down and met with every single athlete on our team, and we asked them, what does this program need? Not too many guys that we talked to truly believed this place could ever be successful. That's what this group needed, truly getting them to believe in it, but to believe in the process. They needed to become obsessed with the process and motivated by the outcome, not the other way around. Uh, I probably was one of the first guys he called in his office just to sit down and just to see what his visions was and what he wanted to do with this program and how he wants this program to be player-led where guys are holding each other accountable and, and, and we're just clicking as one. When he said that, I was just like, okay, uh, and I was going to see this thing through. You know, coming in at the time that they did, basically at the end of the spring game, um, not really having a full football evaluation period, there was a lot to overcome early in the season. They had to figure out who could play where, who fit into the system, what could they do here um, that worked at their last stop. Demand more of yourself. Not having spring practice was a challenge, but where it started to reveal itself was the month of September against people we're playing against. And then you find out, you know, really probably in some ways that you're even further behind than you ever imagined. Let's go, keep it up, let's go. And that's not our players' fault, that's not the assistant coach's fault. That's just the, the circumstances on which this came about. And But nobody's going to feel sorry for you, so you keep moving. 
the thing that impressed me the most about our players, it was pretty evident that we played our best football the last three weeks of the season. He's across the goal line and through. Touchdown, Kansas. The Jayhawks march 10 plays, 75 There's not yards. too many times that teams that are one and eight keep progressing and playing with great effort. He dives, yes. Very good energy. In the end zone, it's Casey. He caught it again. And and that's to me where it started to even show that, well, if we would have put those 15 practices into use into our system and expectations in the spring, um, maybe that could have shown itself a little bit earlier. It's been five months since the Jayhawks last took the field. With the staff's first full off season at hand, the focus is simple. Embrace the process. This spring is incredibly important in continuing to lay the foundation of our program holistically. Ready, three, go! Our days are our lifelines. If we can't do it here, you ain't gonna do it in front of 100,000. Yeah! To continue to close the gap between us, where we are now, and where we need to be. I put in the work and push the line. I'm holding my I'm never back down. For this program to be successful, we have to have great leaders up front to lead this team and make sure we're holding our foundation and keeping the standard the standard. You have to establish a culture. You have to all speak the same language. Everybody has to know what their goal is and everybody has to identify what they want to do. One of the main purposes for spring ball for this team is to start to come out of our shell a little bit, see what we're really made of. If you're not like with it, you're just gonna be weeded out. Trying to be better than we were last year, or you know, trying to be better than say the week before. When everyone buys in and everyone's truly holding each other accountable, that's when we can achieve big things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.